Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be doing a review of the GVM SD200D. Now, they sent this out for me to test and review. I've had it for about a month. I'm not going to dive into all the features that it has. We'll talk about all the main features and things I really like, but more or less, I want to talk about how I personally use it. Um, as a lot of you guys know that follow me, I do a ton of commercial work, and so I actually get to really test these items out in the field. It's not like I'm uh, testing these out here at the house or making up shoots like these items that I get sent to review nine times out of ten are actually tested on legitimate shoots where I'm getting paid by clients to do work and we were really really happy with this now we did a, a big commercial for a local wedding venue and we needed two lights and we were able to use this and then the Godox uh, I think it's like the SL200 uh, which I also really like so one of the nicest and biggest features about this style of light for me is that it takes the Bowens mount on the front, therefore allowing me to put a bunch of different types of modifiers on the device so that I can actually diffuse the light the way I want to, which really helps our nice, beautiful shaft shadows when doing any type of interviews or headshots. So we've been really, really happy with this light. It, it retails for about $320. It's 97 CRI. Um, at one meter or 3.2 feet, um, you're getting 10,000 lux out of the uh, unit. Um, as well, um, the fan is super quiet. Not like, not that we necessarily have to worry about the fan noise usually for our shoots. As you probably notice, I have uh, an audio set up right here, so the audio is detached from the camera, and so uh, usually the subject is far enough away from the light for us to have to worry about any kind of noise coming coming through the shot. Um, so, but the fan is nice and quiet, which I really like. It also seems to work really well in really warm environments. One of the days we were shooting, um, it was about, I think 90, 95 degrees and we had it running, um, for about a half an hour to 45 minutes with no issue of it getting too hot and getting in the way of our shoot. So that's something I really like. Now, one of the things that the Godox, which is only about $50 more. Um, and that's what I'm actually lighting myself right now is the Godox SL200. It is almost twice as bright at three feet away. Um, but it does not offer one of the really nice cool features I love about this light and it is bi-color. So that means it ranges from 32K all the way up to 56K, depending on what you need. You also get um, a wireless uh, signal into your phone for the app, so therefore you can control uh, the, the light and multiple, you can control multiple lights on different channels um, and you can control that uh, by color. So you can set um, different lights on different channels. Um, you can change the brightness, you can change the Kelvin temperature, um, all from your device, which is super, super nice to be able to do that and be able to control it from the phone. Now, I don't personally use it that much um, when it comes to doing the, uh, through the app. However, I didn't have any major issues once I figured out how the app worked. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes to get everything synced up um, and working with the app. So, um, but yeah, let's, let's plug it in and talk a little bit about it. Um, I've been extremely happy. Like I said, it's about $320 light. Um, I do wish at that price point it was a little bit brighter or I'd like to see the light closer to the $250 range. I think for that price point you can get a light that's a little bit brighter. However, it would be lacking in some of the features that this offers where you get the buy color and you get the app option, which for a lot of people that's, that's very important for them. So let's plug this in. You get more than enough cord when it comes to length and how far you're going to have to probably stand from your subject. So, um, you know, I always bring extra extension cords onto my commercial shoots. So if this doesn't give me enough, um, I can always, um, I can always add those extension cords so that I do have enough. So, uh, we'll look here on the back. Um, and this is an all uh, plastic and an aluminum build. Uh, so that's another really nice thing. If you're wanting a light that is super, um, bright or super, super light, not bright, but super light. So if you're looking for light that's, that's super light, um, far as carrying it, one of the things, cons I do have about the light that I was not excited about was that it did not have a carrying case. So we have a backpack that we throw it in, but I kind of pad the backpack, but that's one thing I want to be careful with is to not injure the light or hurt the light or break the light. Um, so what we can do is we can flip our switch on here. And as you guys can probably see here, um, so you can control your power here 
And actually, I'll be quiet so you guys can kind of hear the fan for a second. So as you guys probably noticed, the fan's not super loud. Um, and then if we hit this in right here, now we can control our Kelvin temperature. All the way up to 32, back up to 56. Now I will admit, nine times out of 10, a light like this is not really gonna matter for me whatsoever when it comes to bicolor because I pretty much only shoot at 56K and I very rarely need to change that Kelvin temperature. But I do have that option, which is fantastic. Um, and then you can go in and mess with your uh, RGB settings as well. So you have your different channels here. Um, and then you can set your master here. Um, if you're going to be using the app, you can use the app. And so what we'll do now is take a look at how it works with the app. Let's go into the app here. Pretty simple. Go right into the app. If you notice, it's right here at the top. So we're just going to hit connect. Now I do have the light on. As you can see, I've got it all the way down to the very bottom and I have the Calvin temperature. We'll set it at uh, 32. We're on channel one, which is where I usually keep it. And all I'm going to do is just slowly slide this and then slide it back. And let's just say I wanted to change to a cooler temperature. Ooh. And it's that simple. Now, I don't use this feature a lot, but it is a great feature, and I'm sure a lot of people will use it. Now, if you're using one of their other lights that has scenes built into it, all that will be right here. Um, so you can control your scenes uh, and other, like RGB, if they have RGB built into it, you have that option as well. But it's really simple to use the app, and then as long as you stay within Bluetooth range, you can control the light on different channels. My final thoughts for the light um, would have to be that at $320, I wish it was more around the $250 to $275 range. If you don't need the app and you uh, don't need the buy color option, um, the really nice thing is for about $350 to $375, you can get the Godox, Godox uh, SL200. Um, it is almost twice as bright and, uh, and it's just a tiny bit bigger and it has most of the same features of this minus the buy color and minus the app. So if you think you're gonna use the app and the buy color options, which are fantastic, we don't necessarily need it for a lot of our commercial shoots because I'm just plugging in, throwing the light on a tripod or light stand, and then I'm already set to 56K because that's usually what we're shooting in anyways. We're not needing 32K or 45K for most of our shoots, especially if we're shooting outside. Um, but we do need it from time to time. Um, that I just found at the $320 price point, I wish it was a little bit cheaper um, because if I, if I personally had to spend uh, $300 to $350, I'd probably just look at getting another Godox SL200, I believe is what it's called, just because it is twice as bright and that is very important to me, is the amount of light that a light puts out uh, versus some of the added features that this has. But for the people out there that are going to use the app, that are going to use the buy color um, option, um, this is a fantastic light for that. Um, the other big thing about these newer lights that have this kind of design here, they most of them take the Bowens mount. Bowens mount is awesome because I, because there are so many different modifiers, uh, diffusers, modifiers, whatever you want to call them, the the big things that you put on front of a light so you can keep the you can stop the light down but even out the shadows, right? So that's called a modifier diffuser. And I found um, that just being able to have that Bowens mount for all the different modifiers and diffusers that I use, it makes things so much easier. Um, a lot of our shoots, I just get a beauty dish and I throw a beauty dish on top of this and then I position it uh, anywhere from uh, three to five feet away from my subject. And nine times out of 10, that's gonna give you that nice, beautiful, soft light, especially when we're doing something like an interview for a client. So these type of lights are very easy to pack around. I do wish there was a carrying case um, but as a whole, um, these, these lights are a lot easier to work with, especially with diffusion over like your flat LED panels, which put out a lot of light, but their modifiers are kind of a pain to work with. You've got these square modifiers. I like modifiers that actually go in and click in. Um, so I've switched to this style of light. This is pretty much the only style of light where I can put the Bowens mount on the front. This is probably the only style of light that I'm actually using for my commercial work now. I've probably got four or $5,000 worth of just LED panels I probably need to uh, get rid of. But uh, because of being able to put the Bowens mount on these, on lights like this, especially this model, um, I've just really liked it. So again, 
My biggest takeaway is I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but as a whole, this is a fantastic light if you're looking for a light that has an app option, that has the bicolor option, that uh, puts out 10,000 lumens uh, right at a meter or 3.2 feet. Um, and it's plug and play and it works very easy. Uh, setting up the app does take a second, but what, what should happen is when you log into the app, you should, you should have the light on. It should automatically see the light and you should be able to connect into it. Don't try to go into your Bluetooth settings or Wi-Fi settings and connect into the light before connecting into it through the app. Other than that, uh, super simple to use. And I'm really, really happy with the light. As always, guys, there will be a link at the end so you guys can go check it out if you do happen to purchase the light. That little extra money does help the channel stay alive. So uh, as always, guys, we'll catch you next time. Let's go!